What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Back at the store again. It is 12.46, so we've been open for almost a couple hours now. Um, Abby just ran to Fred Meyer to grab some food from the deli. It's way cheaper than, than ordering food. Um, we're trying to cut down on expenses a little bit, and that's just the easiest way to do it. We, unfortunately, do not spend enough time at home to cook and prepare meals every day. It's just it's it's not reasonable to expect that we can that we can actually do that so instead of ordering food which is what we you know we do a lot of the time like yesterday i ordered panda express and just for me including the delivery and the tip and all that stuff it was like 20 dollars. it was like 1980 which that's just way too much and to be fair that's the only thing i ordered yesterday so it was 20 bucks for me for the whole day but still that's too much um if we go to to the uh, to the to the Fred Meyer Deli, which is just up the road, um, we can get like chicken strips and and you know whatever else. And for for the both of us for the whole day, it'll be ten to fifteen bucks, and that's way way cheaper than ordering food. So we're we're trying to do that a little bit more. But um, enough of that. We do have one trade in from this morning. Um, there's a lot of it, so I'm gonna have to flip around the camera, but here's the box. Let's take a look. So we have a PS3 Super Slim. Not sure on the hard drive size yet. Um, I, I almost didn't even want to take it, but holidays are coming up and I'm trying to really not turn away any systems. We just, it's not, not a bad idea to have a good stock on them. So we got that. There's also a PSP 3000 model in here, pretty scratched up, but it looks like it has a a screen protector on it so hopefully if i pull that off it'll be nice and clean underneath there's a couple ps3 controllers a couple there's a couple cases and stuff for the psp um like that that one there i moved moved the other ones away already but there's a couple more and then we got a bunch of games here so oh and then manuals for everything so one ps2 game and then these are the ps3 games Nothing super special in here, but some titles that should sell pretty good. And then lots of PSP games, which I was pretty happy about because we don't have too many in stock. Once again, nothing in here is really special, but some games that will definitely sell. And there's also a manual in there for Devil May Cry for PS2 randomly. But if we come out here, this is our entire PSP stock with cases. We, of course, have a tub of them without cases, which are these here. But still, that is a pretty small PSP section. The reason it's so small is we had a customer who was a long-haul truck driver, and he came in two times and bought every single PSP game that he didn't already have. And we had, like, two whole shelves of PSP when he did that. So we're down to that, and glad that that stuff came in but that's the only trade so far from today my buddy luke just stopped in and traded some stuff here he is one of the guys that goes to the outlet all the time and he brings all the video game stuff to me so we have a complete in box scooby-doo mystery there's a hole in the front right there and it doesn't have the cardboard tray but it does have the cartridge and manual he found that in a bin of vhs tapes which is cool these here unfortunately are empty cases um, but they are like really high quality from Stone Age Gamer. So they have a place for the manual and everything. But empty cases. These will probably just go in the free bin, honestly. We have a little Pokemon coin, PS2 memory card, Ocean Blue PS2 controller. These here are empty cases. So we have Crash, Pokemon, Crash, Mario, Majora's Mask, and a manual for Mario Kart Wii. Then these are the games. We have a loose Simpsons Hit and Run, a factory sealed Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, an opened Wii Sports, Bushido Blade complete for PS1, Marvel Super Heroes for PS1, but there's no, it's just a disc in the manual. And then he actually found a Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch at the outlet. That's crazy. <laughs> so, cool stuff. He's always bringing in stuff like this we get, we get a lot of our empty cases from my friends that go to the outlet like that so uh, people are always wondering like you know how do you get so many empty cases that's how so these are just from what he brought today so i'm gonna add those to the wall there 
All right, so we have two packages here to open. One of them is from another game store where I went on Google and found their website, um, bought a few things. The other one, I'm not sure what this is. So How are you it's from William in Massachusetts, I believe. Oh my God, it's finally working. Oh, sorry. There's a card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, hi guys, thanks for the great channel. Bill, partial trade in for blank. Okay, cool. So, he threw in a couple extras here. These are really cool. <laughs> Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, little wind-up toys. Um, I think I already have this one in the collection, but I definitely don't have the Miss Pac-Man one. So they're super awesome. And then we also have a Super Mario Kart. And we're doing a partial trade here. He's going to PayPal the difference for uh, that Atari game, the Cosmic Commuter, which was box and cartridge. Pretty rare Atari game. So thanks to Bill for that. Uh, we'll shoot you a message, let you know it came in. By the time you see this, you'll already have gotten the message, but we'll do that. And then this other package here, like I said, came from uh, some random game store. Um, not even sure where it was from, from Ohio. So they had a bunch of stuff listed on their website and I bought a few things. So we have a Mega Man 4 for NES. We also have a Mario All-Stars Mario World combo cart. The prices that they have on these are not what we paid. And then finally, RC Pro-Am 2 for NES. It's got a ripped up label, but it's a pretty rare game, so cool stuff. Got a pretty awesome trade in here to show you guys. We have Terraria for the Switch. This isn't even on price charts, so I'm assuming it came out pretty recently. But it's not going for too much. It's like 20 bucks. Then we have Street Fighter 2 for Genesis Complete and Rocket Knight Adventures. I don't remember if this one. Yeah, no manual on that one. And then these are all boxes or boxes and manuals, only no cartridges here. We have Dr. Mario for NES and Mario Bros. 2. I'm pretty sure he got a lot of these from us. Then we have some N64 boxes. I believe all of these had manuals, but no cartridges, like I said. So Diddy Kong Racing, Ocarina of Time. Mario Tennis, Donkey Kong 64, Majora's Mask, and Banjo-Kazooie. This one he did not get from us, but this one is pretty, I almost want to say like water damaged, but either way, pretty cool stack of stuff here. We will probably just sell these as boxes and manuals. We're not going to try to complete them. It's too much work to take cartridges out of the system, then put them back in, keep track of the buy cost of the cartridge plus the box and add it together. It's just kind of a pain, so we'll just sell them as they come in. We have two more trades from today, and then we're gonna be heading home. So we have Dungeons and Dragons, Eye of the Beholder, Herbs, Sims in the City, South Park, Chef's Love Shack, 007 World is Not Enough, and The Lion King for Genesis. Then we have some Wii games here. We have TMNT, My Sims, Resident Evil 4, Sonic Rider, Zero Gravity, Need for Speed Nitro, Need for Speed Pro Street, and a disc-only copy of Dance Dance Revolution Disney Grooves. So, Nothing super special in those, but that is it for today, guys. Abby's trying to finish up doing a little bit of shipping. Sales were really, really good today. We sold a ton of systems. And then through online orders with probably some of you guys, we sold the Fire Emblem for GameCube, a Bubble Bobble Part 2, and almost that uh, Collector's Edition Zelda for 64. But sales are really good. Um... As far as I know, we sold three Dreamcast systems today, right? Or no? Two Sega Saturns. Two Sega Saturns, one Dreamcast. Three GameCubes. Three GameCubes, an N64, and a PS2 Slim. Was that everything? Was that everything, though? For systems? Yeah. And then probably some handhelds, right? Uh, one, one Pocket. One Game Boy Pocket, Abby says. So... Sales were really, really good today. 
Of course, anytime someone buys a system, they typically will buy maybe an extra controller or a memory card or a few games, so... Not typically. Well, most of the time. But today was a really, really good day. Got a lot of stuff done. And tomorrow, Abby is going to hang out with her sister. So she's not going to be here. Yeah. But I'll be here with Ryan. He's supposed to come in at 12? 12 to 8 tomorrow he's working. So it'll just be me and Ryan. We'll do some filming. and Yeah. But pretty good day overall. We're going to go home and play some Forager. Abby has been playing Moonlighter while I play Forager, which is cool. And, uh, yeah. Oh, we also didn't film it, but Abby went and picked up Luigi Luigi's Mansion 3 from GameStop and got the pre-order poster as well. I guess I can show you guys that. It's in the back. I don't really know why she bought it, because neither of us were, like, talking about wanting to play it. It's true. I think it's... Right there. And then this was the the poster, the pre-order poster. We didn't pre-order it, but luckily she was able to get that. But we got Luigi's Mansion there too. But it's time to go home. I'm excited to play some video games. And I'm hungry. So we were on our way home and had to turn around, go back to the store because I realized that Yesterday's vlog was not uploaded yet, and I closed my computer before we left. So it's not going to upload if it's closed, and unfortunately, the video is already going up super late anyway, but it's 40 minutes long if you didn't see yesterday's vlog. That's why it was going up so late. It took forever to export, took forever to edit, took forever to upload, and it's 9.35, and it's still not done. So it's going to be going up super late, but we have to go back to the store <laughs> to open my computer to make sure that it uploads. <laughs> so stupid. So dumb. <laughs> 